What's going on, my dudes? One step here with an exciting video, my combat pack three wish list. Because if you watched my combat pack two wish list and then you saw who was actually announced for combat pack two officially, uh, you might have guessed that I am e e measurably disappointed. <laughs> and like the returning characters are cool. Like I can't wait for Noob, Sector, Cyrax, but the guest characters, uh, let's just say that I'm not a fan or excited at all, I guess. Nothing against you if you are. I just, it's not for me. So I'm gonna get ahead of the game and do a combat pack three wish list because Ed Boon did confirm that content's not done after year two, which is basically confirming that we're gonna get a year three, thus a combat pack three. So let's just get right into it. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content. And let's talk about uh, my combat pack three wish list. Now I'm gonna be following the same trend that they've been doing for the past two combat packs now, which is at least three returning characters and three guest characters. And it was super hard to narrow it down, but uh, here we go. Starting off with the returning characters and in no particular order first i want to see fujin we did not see fujin for quite some time until we got him in mk11 and i would love to see my boy back in mortal kombat 1 we got raiden he's no longer the god of thunder or whatever and they would probably make fujin also no longer the god of wind but either way i would love to see what they could do in this new universe with fujin i think there's an intro where they reference raiden's sister and people are speculating that that means that that is fujin and they could go that direction because they did gender swap uh, Sector and Cyrax, which personally, I don't care. And if they made Fujin, Raiden, Sister, that would be a unique twist. I wouldn't be mad. I just want to see Fujin some way, somehow in this game. Next for returning characters, I want to see Onaga. Now, how do they do a big character like that? Well, other fighting games do that. We got Potemkin and Guilty Gear, Zangief and Street Fighter. You get the idea. It's possible to, to do a, a bigger size character. And I feel like Mortal Kombat could do a really good job at Onaga. His moveset, his combos, his special moves, all of it combined. I, I feel like Onaga needs to be in this game. He's referenced in uh, Reiko's story ending scene. And I just want to see Onaga playable, man. We haven't seen him playable, I think, since Armageddon. So it's been far too long. I mean, worst case, I guess make him a cameo, but but I would love to see Onaga as a playable character. I just think it's due time we get a big bad boss as a playable character. We got Shang Tsung, but we never got like Kronika's playable, which kind of sucks. Shinnok was playable in MKX, but like I want, I want like a big, a big baddie <laughs> as like a playable character you know what i'm saying now this next choice is more regards as i want to complete the roster as is and that is jade like we have scorpion sub-zero reptile smoke rain we have we have the boys we got the squad and i feel like the, the, the roster is kind of just missing that final piece for, for Katana, Melina. We, we just need Jade. I mean, for Pete's sake, Chameleon turns into Melina, Katana, Jade. We have Katana as a playable character. We got Melina. Where is your girl Jade? I don't even think that like, I would personally play her. But, like when I see the character select screen, I just feel like she's missing to the point where it's kind of like a sore thumb. You're like, wait, where? Where is Jade? <laughs> we got Katana, we got Sindel, we got Melina. You could argue, you know, Scarlet, and you might want Sonya as a playable character too, but I feel like Jade just needs to be in this game. And I'm actually shocked that we don't have her yet, especially within the first two combat packs. So let's hope we get her for combat pack three. Now, for the guest characters, this was uh, this was kind of hard because there were so many options. Because when you think of guest characters, and you know, this is more of a wish list, right? You, you think how many options, like look at all the characters from movies, TV shows, video games that we could pull from. And obviously you could argue in the comments, oh, it's just so hard to get the IP for this character and it just wouldn't work out because the makers of this wouldn't want, I don't really care. I, this is a wish list. I, if I had it my way, I would have these characters inside of Mortal Kombat 1. So I don't think I'm alone in the room when my first choice is gonna be Doom Guy. He was in my Combat Pack 2 guest character wishes, and, and that, that is how bad I want this character. I can't, I can't believe we did not get him within the first two Combat Packs. He just fits too perfectly in a Mortal Kombat game. The fatalities, the brutalities, the weapons, the combat, the hard hitting, he, he, he fits too perfectly. I love the Doom games with a passion. Now you might argue, well, he wouldn't have any intro lines because he doesn't really talk. I don't care. I skip those 98% of the time anyways. Make it non-canon. I, I do not care what you do as long as I get this guy in this game. Like I've been wanting Doom guy in a Mortal Kombat game since they were doing guest characters back in Mortal Kombat 9. I wanted Spawn for a very long time. We finally got him in Mortal Kombat 11. How have we yet still to not get Doom Guy? It's literally just so 
freaking perfect. Okay, I'm gonna stop ranting about Doom Guy because the next one is also, again, in my humble opinion, an awesome choice to be a guest character, and that is your boy Shredder. I mean, he kind of already fits the like ninja aesthetic, you know, the hood and like the armor. We got the claws. I guess Shang Tsung already kind of has the claws in this game, but I feel like they could just do a way better job with Shredder. He's brutal, he's a killer. Dude, let my boy loose and put Shredder in Mortal Kombat 1. So, as you can see right now, with Doom Guy and Shredder as my uh, first two choices for guest characters, I'm not sticking to just video games. My guest Shredder is in a couple video games, but you get what I mean. But I will go back to the video games and say that I want old man Kratos in Mortal Kombat 1. I mean, come on, we, we got Terminator in Mortal Kombat 11 and now we're getting T-1000 in Mortal Kombat 1. So we're kind of getting, you know, the same character because of, you know, Terminators, whatever. We got Slashers, we're getting Ghostface. So I don't care that it would feel kind of like a repeat character. Like I know it's the same character, I get that, but Old Man Kratos in the, in the new God of War games is such a different character that he would play, like he, he would absolutely play different. He would play nothing like his Mortal Kombat 9 version. Version. Like imagine Kratos having three different stances or three different variations of himself depending on what weapon he pulls out We got the Leviathan axe. We got the blades of chaos. We got the spear like implementing those weapons inside of his gameplay and having unique combo strings and special moves and stuff depending on what weapon he's wielding in the moment is is such a in my head a Beautiful and perfect combat style for him that it actually it, it just it's just so Amazing and while we're at it, let's put Atreus or Loki as like the cameo character Character for him and that would be even better to see like a trace walk in shoot a bow or something and then like dip out off screen and it's still kratos just kicking your ass oh in my it's just beautiful it's beautiful we already know he's brutal as hell he's a killer he's been beat up like he fits in mortal kombat he fits the aesthetic especially as mortal kombat 1 isn't so like dark like kratos is dark sure i guess but i'm saying like i don't know man kratos just fits in the game before you say it, like once did that ever happen because he's a playstation exclusive uh well he was in fortnite and that's on all consoles so I'm just saying it is doable. So before I go over a couple honorable mentions here, just to recap, returning characters, Fujin, Onaga, Jade, and then guest characters, Doomguy, Shredder, Kratos. It was super hard to choose those characters. So with that being said, here are a couple honorable mentions. I'll make it quick. When it comes to returning characters, I would like to see Cabal back. He was so much fun to play in Mortal Kombat 11. I'm actually surprised he wasn't even a cameo like Kano was at least, uh, but I want to see him playable. Another one is Nightwolf. I, I'm probably in the minority here, but I love Nightwolf, dude. And I I know Conan as the guest character for Combat Pack 2 might play a, a little bit like Nightwolf, I guess, due to the aesthetic, but like I, I want to see Nightwolf, my boy playable in Mortal Kombat 1. And my last honorable mention for returning characters that I want to see is actually Sentryon. She was an amazing new character in Mortal Kombat 11. I'm surprised she never made her way back to Mortal Kombat 1. She was very unique, had a crazy cool backstory, who she was as a character. I would love to see her back as a playable character. Now, what about honorable mentions for guest characters? I'm a big video game nerd, so don't be mad at me when a lot of these are video game themed, but I would love to see Ezio from Assassin's Creed. Just being an assassin, that just makes sense, too much sense. I know he's just a dude with a knife like a hidden blade and that's my argument for not liking Ghostface. so get mad at me all you want i'm biased here i want to see Ezio in mortal kombat 1 that'd be so sick if you want to do with a knife that has a ton more going for him you know magic and abilities i want corvo from dishonored oh man corvo would be amazing especially when it comes to the special moves his combo strings it could do so much with corvo yeah yeah he was one of the ones that almost made it to my top three choices again in my head he's just he's just an absolute perfect choice for a guest character now this last one is actually a, a you've probably heard me talk about him before if you watch my videos um he's actually a secret character kind of secret boss back in mortal kombat gold who actually never made it into the game and that is belloc he's a he's technically a mortal kombat universe character that just has never made it to the game he was almost in mortal kombat 4 in fact you can see the screenshots here on screen of like uh the blueprints and like the gameplay they had for him before he was technically canceled and since then they've never put him back in the game i thought that like maybe one day they'd make him another big baddie but they just keep reusing shang Tsung for some reason so to see belloc make a return and possibly be a big baddie in Mortal Kombat would be so cool. We talked about a lot of returning characters. We talked about a lot of guest character ideas. So with all that being said, guys, let me know down below in the comments, what returning characters do you want to see for Combat Pack 3? What guest characters do you want to see for Combat Pack 3? Let me know your thoughts down below. And let me know what you think of this list right here. Like, do you agree with my list? Do you hate my list? That's cool if you do. Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content. Turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guides, reactions, and more.